going to be doing an art project today. And um, my name is Julie Hill, and I am the art teacher at the Artatorium. And we can't have you come in our building right now, so we are going to have you do your art project at home with us. So we're making this video, and we would like you to please, I'll, I'll go along, and then when you need to stop, I'll say pause so you have time to work. Okay, what we're going to need today, you should have some watercolors with a paintbrush, a pencil and an eraser, and then I think your teachers also put in a black oil pastel for you. So then we're, you're going to need some water in a cup for this. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up our watercolors, and I'd like you to take your brush and put a little couple of drops, a little bit of water into each of our colors. And then we're just gonna let them sit for a minute. We wanna get lots of color into our water. It should look like ink when we're done. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So if you need to pause right now and put water in your colors, get your supplies together, and then we'll start the project, okay? All right, I hope you have time to do that, and now we're gonna start drawing our picture. You should have a nice piece of paper, kind of heavy paper, to do that on. It was in your supplies that your teacher sent you. And so now we're gonna get started. What we're gonna make is a forest picture. I heard that you are learning about forests and that your camp out theme um, is what you're doing for your art and music day. So we're gonna be drawing and painting a forest. The first thing we're gonna start with are the lines that make the ground. You can see my trees don't go all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna make some ground here for your trees to grow out of. Um, I made hills in this one in this one, and I'm using my pencil, in this one I might just make some different kinds of hills. It doesn't matter what kind you make. Okay, so I want them to go all the way across. This is all going to be ground for our trees to go on, and then this is going to all be sky. All right, if you need to pause right there to get that done, you can. Now, we want our trees to look like they're nice and tall. So we're going to see how I started at the bottom and I got a little bit narrower, narrower with my tree trunk as I went up. That's gonna help my trees look like they're tall, like I'm looking up at my trees. So we're gonna do that with our pencil. I put two big ones and that's a good way to start. Okay, so I'm just gonna start in the middle here of one of my hills and I'm going to just draw in a couple of tree trunks. Okay, see how I made them bigger at the bottom and they're getting smaller as we go up to the top. Then I'm going to put those leafy parts on my tree that we're going to color in with the green. Okay, then your picture should look like this. If you want to stop and get all of that done, you can. Then I've got lots of space on these other hills. I might add some other trees in there. Whatever kind of tree you like. Um, they're kind of far away, so they're going to be smaller. I'm putting a bunch maybe in all of the spaces. I'm just going to hurry and do that. See how I have those little trees in there. Okay. So pause and make sure you have this whole part done before you go on. Now, do you see how my hill is showing through some of my trees? And I got my trunks kind of long maybe. So I'm just going to take my eraser, maybe you have one on your pencil, I'm just going to erase 
the parts that are the parts of the heels that show through the tree because they're not going to be there. And I might make my trunks just a little bit smaller. Erase whatever you had a problem with, whatever you want to change a little bit, and then those places. So then my picture is going to look like this. Okay. Now the next part, I'm going to take my black oil pastel and I'm going to outline all of the things that I've done. Wherever there's a pencil mark, I'm going to outline it. I don't want to fill it in because that's the part I'm going to paint. The oil pastel is going to help us keep the color from our watercolors in the space that we want it and make a nice, fun outline for it. Okay, pause right now and get all that done. And here's the one that I have done already. Okay, do you see how I copied all the things on with my oil pastel? Now I'm ready for the fun part. I'm going to start adding colors to this. Um, I'm going to check my paints first and make sure, I want to make sure, see how, and I'm going to use the back of this one. See how it goes on nice and bright? That's what I want. If I have it too dry, it doesn't go on smooth. And look, if I get too much water in it, then it's going to look more like water then it's going to look like the paint. So I want it nice and bright with lots of color in. Um, so let's talk a minute about colors. I have a little color wheel here and you can see the three circles are yellow, blue, and red. And then there's triangles in the middle. We're gonna have some fun mixing colors, but we don't want our paint to look like it's just all um, messy. Have you mixed a bunch of colors together and they turn out just being kind of a brownish grayish mess? That's what we don't want when we're mixing colors. So today we're going to start with this green triangle. Green is made up by these two colors on each side. So we have yellow and we have blue. So I can mix all these three colors together that I want to and it's still going to look nice. So we're going to make some different colors of green on our trees. So I'm going to get some clean water and if you need to get, if you need to change your water anytime while we're painting, if your water gets dark, then just stop the video and get some more color. I'm going to start with green. And I'm going to just paint some nice green right down the middle of my trees. See how I did that right there? Now this is the fun part. I'm going to mix in some yellow. So I want to rinse off my brush. I'm going to dry it just a little bit. I have some paper towels here. I'm just going to dry my brush off a little bit. And then I'm going to get some yellow. Oh, it needs a little more water to make it inky. I'm going to get some little bit of yellow. I'm going to mix it in with the green over on this side so that it's lighter green. And you can take some time putting a little more green in with it, putting a little more yellow. And then I'm going to take a little bit of blue. And blue is a darker color, so we don't need very much. I'm going to put a little bit of blue over there and then put some more green with it. And you can kind of play around with it. You can mix as much of these colors together as you want because Green is made up of blue and yellow. So we can put in more green if you want it more green. You can add some more blue and you can keep working with it until you have some colors you want. We're going to do that on both of our trees and then all the little ones. So sometimes this kind of tree is a little more blue. I might start with blue there. And then I'm going to add in maybe just 
to touch your heel bone and see how that works. I'm not going to take time to do all my trees. Um, you'll have plenty of time though if you're at home to mix those colors together. If it gets too wet, if you accidentally get too much water, just take a paper towel. You can kind of push on it and soak up that water and then try again. If your paper starts looking like there's little pieces of um, paper in it, then you need to stop and let it dry. That means you've worked the paper too much. You need to stop and let it dry. And then you can come back to it after it dries and brush that stuff off. And even paint it a little bit more. Okay, now comes the ground. For the ground on this one, we're going to use some brown. And brown is an interesting color because it's made up of red and yellow and blue. So I can take any of those colors, mix it with my brown, and get a different color, a different brown color. So first what I'm going to do is up close to me, I'm going to add, I need to put my paper down for this, and I'm gonna put some yellow. Just put a little bit of yellow quick. You know, it helps with your paintbrush if you kind of hold it up like you're a ballerina on its tippy toes, or if you kind of think about a football player that's going out of bounds and he's trying to keep his feet in, and you can just think about that and keep your paintbrush straight up and down, and that helps you get smooth, even strokes. If it starts feeling scratchy when you're painting, that means you need to put a little bit more water in your paint let it sit for a minute and stir it up. Okay, over the top of that yellow, I'm going to put some brown now. I don't want too much brown because I want the colors to mix a little bit. And I want it to look kind of like the grass is going across, so, or the ground, not the grass. So I'm just doing big strokes right across. Now, I kind of like wood that has a little bit of red in it sometimes too. So for my trunks, I might put a little bit of red first. Oh, and see I'm holding mine up, it's dripping a little. And that's not gonna be nice, but you keep yours flat while you're working on it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some brown on top of my red and you'll see that that changes the color of that. It's still going to be brown, but it's going to have red to it. And then maybe these hills that are far away from me, I might even put a little bit of blue first and then put brown on it. And that is going to, because blue is darker, it's going to help the brown look like it's farther away. And then the first group of hills, however you want. And if you want to try mixing some colors up on a little piece of paper. In fact, I know some of you are pre-kindergarten kids. You can have somebody help you draw the picture or you can just draw with your oil pastel and then paint with the colors on top. Moms, if you have these paints where the paints come out, it can sometimes help with little ones if you take the colors out, so see they come out um, if you have this kind of paints, you can take the paints out and just give your kids a few at a time, especially the younger ones. So I give them the green and the yellow and the blue at one time and let them work on that. Okay, so pause the video here and have lots of fun working on the colors. Um, if you want to put some purple in your sky, you can use the purple and then put some blue in it and some yellow in it. If you want to put orange in your sky, you can put some yellow and red. Any of these triangles, you can use the colors on each side that make up that color to mix together and make lots of fun colors. All right, so pause here and paint and have fun doing that. Okay, when you're all done painting, you need to let your picture dry and then it should look something like this. Now, if the paint got outside the line a little bit, you could
could take your oil pastel back and go over the lines a little bit depending on how dark you like it. Or you could add some things with some crayons. You could add in a tent. You could add in um, some grass growing on the hill, some birds in the sky, or anything you like like that. You could use your oil pastel if you enjoyed that and you want to draw some more with that. Or you can use some crayons or even a pencil to do that. We would love it if you would send us some of your, um, some pictures of your, your projects that you make. Um, you might see them on our Facebook board, or you might see them also on our, in our um, June or July gallery walk. If you want to find out more about those kind of things, you can look on our website at artatoriumonbroadway.org. Okay, happy painting.